Becca with Kids Church to Go, and here's another Bible bit. And this is part three of learning to understand 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Let's review that verse. Let's go to the Bible. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. So we've learned what it's talking about. We've learned who's saying it and when and how and where. Now, let's just talk about why would this be important? Well, I have a balloon. Wow. Now, if I wanted to play with this balloon, what do I normally do? Whee! I would put air into it, right? Blow it up. And then I can do lots of cool, fun things with it. I can decorate with it. I can play games with it. When it's like this, meh, meh it's flat. This is like a life without gratitude. This life is not a life that we want, but because, you know, without gratitude, we can't really understand and experience good love and we can't find happiness It all. There's gratitude is like the beginning first step to these good things like love and happiness. We need to have a heart of gratitude. It's important for us here. Watch. Now, this is a life of gratitude, a heart that chooses gratitude, that sees the good. That's right. So this verse in the Bible is not a command, like him saying, you do this because I'm the boss. No, 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 that's not what's happening here. This actually is God saying, hey, I've got some wisdom for you. This is going to help you. Wisdom is knowing what is right, a true or good, and then doing it. And look at the people that came before you that also were part of the family of God. They too understood and learned the importance and the empower and the benefits of a heart full of gratitude and an ability to see what is good, where it's coming from, and to be able to appreciate it. Say thank you for that. Um, can you say that again? Well, gratitude, this is when you can see what is good in your life in a situation or in another person. Then notice where the good is coming from outside of yourself. Like what or who or besides you is making it possible. And then choose to be and show you are thankful. in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Dear Jesus, we love you and we're thankful that you're with us every day. We're thankful that you know what is good for us and you want us to have that good and you're looking out for us. Thank you that you are watching out for us and giving us these important words. Help us to understand them more and more and more. Your name, amen. Amen. So go out there and look for things that you can be thankful for. Look out for the good. Let's go. And don't forget, you are so loved. And let's give that love away.